कॉन्सेप्ट गन डायोड तो स्पेलिंग एयर इज जी यू एन एन सो दिस गन इज अम ऑफ अ साइंटिस्ट विच इंप्लीमेंट ही डि नॉट इंप्लीमेंट दिस डायोड बट दिस डायोड इज फॉर्म बाई हिज नेम ओके द डायोड हैज बीन गिविंग दिस नेम बिकॉज इट सम हाउ मैच द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दैट साइंटिस्ट विच इज नेम्ड आफ्टर हिम ओके सो गन डायोड वॉट आर दिस गन डायोड गन डायोड इज एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रॉन डिवाइसेस इन शॉर्ट यू कैन कॉल इट एज अ टीई डी okay transfer electron devices it is an example so what are these tds let us see in detail if you want to understand gun diodes you should be knowing what are these transfer electron devices so td tds are bulk devices which are made from compound semiconductor materials like gallium arsenide and indium phosphide okay so these are the basic bulk devices bulk devices means a very large a very narrow and uh, lengthy devices where the uh, diode formation is very very vast and uh, the formation of diode would be very very in a easier manner okay so those bulk devices would be supporting these kinds of diodes which are made from compound semiconductor materials so this compound semiconductor materials means uh, they are not available everywhere in a random number of uh, in a few amount of number it is available so some of the materials are here which is mentioned here one is gallium arsenide and indium phosphide okay these exhibit negative resistance region and uh, voltage is when uh, negative resistance means when voltage is increased current is decreased so what do you mean by this negative resistance that you would be coming to know with this plot here that i'm going to explain it later it exhibit negative resistance region so the negative resistance means the resistance drop basically uh, one resistance is going going to flow from a diode but uh, when it passes the diode the we would be seeing some resistance drop and that resistance drop from higher value to the lower value that gives rise to the region one sort of region and that region is called as a negative resistance region and that reg in that region the voltage would be increasing when current is decreasing okay it is uh, inversely proportional voltage and current are not directly proportional to each other uh, as you could see in the ohms law v is equal to i into r in this case voltage is inversely proportional because we exhibit the negative resistance so this is crucial for microwave oscillations so if we want to have some uh, microwave oscillations taking place we should be having this negative resistance in tds electrons can exist in two different energy states within semi semiconductor conduction band so what are these two regions one is high mobility low energy states and another one is low mobility high energy states high mobility or mu low energy states so when the mobility is high whenever the mobility increases the energy would be low that indicates that the voltage and current are directly proportional to each other okay but whereas in the other case low mobility and high energy when the energy is high and mobility is low then we could be saying that the voltage and current are inversely proportional to each other and uh, that that would be exhibiting this negative resistance so in this one case the resistance would be positive and in another case the resistance would be negative here okay so when uh, sufficiently high electric field is applied electrons transfer from high mobility state to low mobility state now transfer of electrons leads to reduction in current for increasing voltage creating a negative resistance region so here in this explanation what they have mentioned is that how the negative uh, resistance is formed so you see here what they have given when sufficiently high electric field is applied that is when the electric field is applied in excess that is a uh, uh, which is not required that electric field is applied the transfer of electrons from high mobility state to low mobility state low mobility state is happening first now the transfer of electrons leads to reduction in current okay because we are applying the excess of electric field which is not required and uh, transfer of electrons with respect to that electric field would be leading to the reduction in current for increasing voltage that is voltage and current are inversely proportional so since voltage and current would be inversely proportional to each other it would be forming it would be uh, leading to the formation of the negative resistance okay so you see here how the negative resistance is uh, shown in this plot here i versus v 
first we are having a drastic rise that is the resistance is positive and then at some point the review we would be seeing the resistance drop so when we would be seeing this resistance drop this resistance would be dropped when it is passed through this gun diode okay so when the when the resistance and the wave propagation is passing through the gun diode you could be seeing this resistance drop and that resistance drop plot is named as the negative resistance okay so the transfer of electrons and negative resistance causes the microwave oscillations okay so this is the main reason where the microwave oscillations are formed that is due to this negative resistance as well as the transfer of electrons okay so these are the reasons fundamental reasons which you need to be knowing uh, results in the formation of microwave oscillations okay so hope you understood this explanation so please note uh, go through it once pause the video and refer it down okay so this notes i'm going to put it in the description so these are the diagrams which you need to be drawing for the gun diode explanation okay so first is this is the simple gun diode construction so you see here uh, it is a 100 micrometer it is of 100 micrometer uh, uh, width here it is a three dimensional figure where we have 100 micrometer width in the front front side and in the side view you could be seeing here it is of 75 micrometer okay so this lines indicate that they are metal coated product contact okay so these are the leads here cathode and anode from where the current uh, and the waves are propagated and the current is flowing with respect to these holes here they are called as leads here one end is cathode that is negative and one end is anode that is positive okay so these are the high field domains here we have two uh, layers of anode and cathode coated layers okay so these are the high field domains you see here the signs negative and positive indicates that then uh, this is the uh, v here that is the potential difference that is a uh, approximately 10 to the power 5 meter per second okay so this is the complete construction and with this graph you could be coming to know about the uh, field and drips drift velocity how it is compared with respect to this gun diode okay so this is the resistance plot only so if you observe this plot very carefully uh, i versus v this is the drastic change in resistance and at some point it comes down as it passes through this gun diode and then it turns it and then it remains constant you see this negative resistance it uh, when it drops right it won't be dropping it won't be keeping on dropping at some point of time it will be turning constant okay so that constant why it is becoming constant because due to the drift velocity applied okay whatever the drift velocity which is produced that would be resulting in the constant resistance okay so in this case it is drift velocity is 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second okay uh, this is uh, not potential difference this is actually drift velocity okay 10 to the power 5 meter per second or 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second it is one and the same okay so this is the electric field applied in this case it, in the it is given in terms of kilo volt per centimeter okay yeah and this is the upper valley and lower valley plot so what are these upper and lower valleys? So these indicates that the uh, band reduction. Okay. So uh, basically you would be having three bands. So these bands uh, you might be studying it, this in your uh, uh, lower classes. One is conduction band. One is valence band and one is forbidden band which is uh, responsible for the forbidden energy gap between conduction and valence band. Okay. With respect to these bands we are having two valleys. One is upper valley and lower valley so these are the two valleys which is responsible for these two levels here one is high mobility low energy states and low mobility high energy states so all the lower valleys where the resistances are positive would be attached to the conduction band whereas the upper valley where the resistances are negative are not attached to the conduction band and it is uh, uh, repelling an electric field that is in this case it is delta E is given as 0.36 electron volt okay and uh, these are the construction of uh, upper valley and lower valley and this is the energy gap here forbidden energy gap in this case it is EG is given by 1.43 electron volt and this is uh, in the range of 100 and this is the valence band where all the waves are getting propagated okay so these diagrams you please note it down very very important with respect to gun diode okay so this is the construction part 
This is the graph where the drift velocity is represented in the negative resistance region and this is the uh, upper valley and lower valley diagrams with respect to the bands here that is conduction, valence and forbidden. This is the energy gap between the conduction and the valence gap. Uh, valence band. So please note it down these concepts. I hope you understood these things. Once again please go through all the concepts. This notes I am going to put, pin it in the description. All the diagrams and explanations are very important. And uh, this concept is very important guys. Okay. So please brush it up once thoroughly. And uh, be prepared. The first concept that is microwave system. Okay. So this is a sure question from this module. You could be expecting this as a very very important. Mark this as very important. Very very important question with respect to final exam VTU point of view. Because this is multiple times repeated. That is microwave system you should be writing uh, drawing one simple diagram of a microwave system make sure that you draw a neat diagram like this use pencil and scale or pen and scale use scale to draw this diagram okay because each and every component should be highlighted very carefully and should be marked very carefully okay then you should be uh, explaining the uh, whole diagram construction then generation rece uh, reception okay all these things if you write easily you could be scoring 7 to 8 marks so this might be they might be asking for 7 to 8 marks so this is the diagram here of microwave system so let us see what and all it consists of first it consists of a microwave source okay that is passed through this uh, uh, cavity here this cavity is called as a wave propagation cavity where the, all the waves are transmitted in this part and it is met through a transmitting horn, horn antenna okay where all the waves are getting collected here and from this antenna it is going to the receiving horn antenna and the output is propagated through the oscillator okay so these things which are attached in the uh, just before these antennas are called as wave guides where this wave guide should be very very helpful for wave propagation from one tra from transmitter side to receiver side in order to have a smooth flow between the uh, waveforms from transmitter to receiver we use these wave guides okay so we have an attenuator attenuator what it does is it uh, uh, stops the unwanted signals to flow and uh, the signals which are necessary to be flowing from transmitter to receiver it allows all those signals to flow okay so that is called as a calibrated attenuator then we have wave meter in order to check the wavelength or any other wave prop uh, wave propagation characteristics everything could be checked by this wave meter so these are the simple stands here all the stands then this is a crystal mount so this crystal mount what it does is it would be uh, uh, essential for uh, analyzing the signals very thoroughly okay then this is the waveguide termination at this point the wave will be getting completely propagated and it should be provided to the output oscillator okay so this is in brief about the microwave system so let us see the its generation what it consists of microwave oscillations are generated by the microwave source all the oscillations under microwave systems are generated in this microwave source then it is passed through one by one that is wave meter attenuator transmitting antenna receiving antenna and it goes through the output to oscillator okay for example gun diode gun diode is a very very important example for a microwave system which you are going to see in the next video this generated microwave is passed through a rectangular wave guide okay so this is that rectangular wave guide here which is present here so these are the wave guides where this microwaves generated are passed okay and it is given through the transmitting receiving horn antennas so these rectangular boxes indicates that they are the wave guides the generated microwave so this is micro okay microwave frequency can be measured with the help of wave meter so whatever the microwave frequency generated it can be measured with the help of the wave meter which is attached here okay next we have attenuator attenuator can be used to reduce the power level so as I have told you attenuator job is to send the required signals okay that is by reducing the power level which is unwanted those signals are getting blocked and all the signals which are required to be flown those things signals are getting passed through this antenna okay it can be used to reduce the power level next we have the generated microwave is transmitted through the transmitting antenna okay so whatever the microwave generated after reducing the power level and after checking the wave meter everything which is passed through the source it is given to the transmitting horn antenna and uh, with the help of the wave guides it is uh, passed through the receiving horn antenna and then the output is generated okay reception the receiving antenna receives this energy 
and can be displayed on the oscilloscope for further measurements as i've told you from transmitting antenna then it is uh, it is going through the receiving antenna and all the information which needs to be displayed it is displayed in the oscilloscope and it is given from output to oscillator okay so this was all about in brief about the microwave system so just make a note of it once guys this diagram is very very important so please please try to make this diagram in a very neat manner because this is a fixed question then they might be asking this question okay so this diagram all the figures everything you uh, noted very carefully each and every part where plays a very very important role in this microwave system so you should be drawing it very neatly okay i suggest you to use the scale and draw these diagrams so generation reception and some some important points with respect to this construction you should be writing under microwave system so that you would be getting full marks okay